NBC Arena. The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Sugar Ray Robinson. Many consider him to be the greatest fighter in the history of this sport. Inducted into the International Hall of Fame in 1990, he fights out of Harlem, New York. This is going to be one hell of a fight. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Fighting out of the blue corner from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five-time middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. You couldn't buy a seat in this place. You'd be very lucky if you're ringside, but you know what? Watch it from home, you've got everything on the plate. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. They ring the bell, and here we go. Looks like a little change of strategy here, trying to loosen up the flow a little bit. to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Nope, that jab not going to score. That's another scoring shot. An upset of the year perhaps right before our eyes. Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. What? What? Sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. A very competitive round here so far. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. The corner's got to take a good look at their... And they're down, trying to make it up before 10 as the referee continues the count. Let's see that again. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? in that last round. you got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be we just saw. I love the response though. Got back up. Took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it off. Get on with the job. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very 
surprised. Looks like a little bit of a strategy change here, loosening up the technique. He's going to go with more footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got a dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching you every move, every trick. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I the building is going bananas. Will they see a huge upset here? Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. Cue up the replay machine. I have got to see that again. I've got to see that again. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough... As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Those counter punches have to hurt. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. What a massive upset this would be. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. They're being put down. And there's the bell to start the round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Gonna shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. The referee really, really thinking about stopping it. Robinson goes to the canvas. And as we see it again in slow motion, there's no doubt. That body punch right there buckled him. I need to see that again. He's back on his feet, but at some point, you have to think about the next fight and not this one. So much for defensive abilities. It appears at the moment. And before they get knocked down, they choose to go down on their own and take a knee. Best thing the fighter did. Otherwise, you know what? Pride's going to get you knocked out. He's going to drop his arms down here. Not sure that's the wisest decision. Nice stop. Not the best of rounds with 10 seconds to go. And is this the beginning of the end? And they're down just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. The old liver shot will buckle your knee every time as this replay shows. That lights out right there. It happened. 
happened. You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. <laughs>